Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to some more Heroes Charge. How are y'all doing today? So, I mean, no face cam today. Sorry about that. It's just, I just got home from work. I look like a mess and I am not showering before recording. So I figured I'd just jump on here. We just won't have face cam today, but some good news. We are getting some almighty stone. So that's awesome. I didn't uh, realize the thing ended we only did a couple bets but hey i will take it we're getting two extra almighties for placing our bets three proof of valors and then 10 tulips i did phenomenal today y'all with rating on tulips i rated my thousand stamina and i got 18 tulips that is crazy right so that was awesome that's basically a whole entire holy priestess medium um stone right there so i thought that was pretty awesome and as you've seen we had 40 so that's gonna allow us to purchase um two of her medium crystals so that's very good nice we're actually getting a junior um death mage so that puts us even closer to um finishing death mage her next awakening except for the dedicated but that's all right we can always buy the dedicated i just want to get everything else for her for free so that's good let's go ahead and chant um i did do a decent amount of stuff off camera there is some stuff i didn't do and um obviously we'll do that and then another thing i want to show y'all there is a stage in this that's actually giving me a little bit of run for my money the uh deep sea league i well i can't even see the heroes i don't remember which stage it was it was one of these three where i could not beat it with three starring it would kill my turtle fighter and i just couldn't beat it so i wound up taking admiral limited hero out and put an ocean princess and we did three star it so there may be a couple stages in here that i might have to write down as well that we can go back and um do it uh fight them after we hit 900 because yeah we're definitely not gonna be able to beat them until i can upgrade those heroes but i just have so much we have to do right now that um that's gotta wait now let's collect all of these extra um windmills and then we can go into the event and hopefully We'll even have enough to purchase some of that, uh, some more of her crystals. Yeah, we're almost going to be able to get her to awaken level 3 today. Actually, today is a very important day because this is going to allow us to upgrade our ruins. So let's go do all this first. I forgot about that. Um, I already... <sighs> Man, I'm just, I'm lost. Because I, I don't remember what I did. Let's take it slow. I'm rushing. Slow. Let's go to the Ruin event first. Let's see everything. So we have two days left, which is awesome. Because that's going to allow us to get some more upgrades. So that's fine. Uh, we do have eight spins. We may wind up doing those. We'll see. So 15,800. All right, let's go ahead. We need 10,000 score alone. So it's 30 per medium. 30 per medium. Okay, so 30 per medium. That's 6,000. That's 6,000. That's more than 10,000 with just the mediums and juniors. That's what I wanted to see because... um we can keep our seniors in super ruin so that's awesome and we should get some more seniors as well when we hit that so beautiful there is level 50 so there is five medium uh things there and then let's go ahead upgrade this i'm gonna upgrade this four times and the reason for that is is because it's gonna give us the perfect amount well, no, because we have two days left, so we got to do more. That's fine. Let's go see where we're at with score. So we're at 17,000 score. Let's go ahead and let... Oh, wait, wrong hero. Let's let's upgrade our Arcane Sapper a little bit more. 
So it is starting to be a little bit more. As you can see, it is a thousand to upgrade a level. So that's fine. I don't want to get too crazy with it. I say we do 500. That way we'll see what level we're at. And I don't know, we might go to level 30. Let's just go to level 30. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. We only need nine levels. All right. Upgrade. Where does that put us at with this event? So, score puts us at 20,000. That's actually really good. And then it allows us to get common crystals as well. Wait, did we get... Oh, we only got one level 50 this event? That's fine. All right. So we need 4,000 more. Um, 4,000 more. I'm trying to see if it's more worth it for us to like start working on another one or just build up these. I want to say working on another one if I'm not mistaken getting it to like level 50 because these are really cheap to upgrade well I need to do whole levels that's right for the event so we'll probably do like two levels and then one level I shouldn't have did that to 30 I did mess up with that I was getting a little excited that's fine. We'll figure it out. Oh, what was in my tooth? What the heck? I don't know. My tooth just... I don't know how to explain it. So, we're good with that. We'll figure all that out. But we are pretty solid with this event. That should have helped our Arcane Sapper out a decent amount with attack. I actually want to go back to the Ruin because it was 600 before... Attack 1500. Wow, that gave him a lot of attack. Yes, see, ruins is very important, y'all. So if y'all are not focusing on ruins, you're missing out. And somebody asked, how is my Queen of Seas so powerful? I don't know if you see my message because you didn't reply. Or if you did reply, I didn't see it. So, potential is almost 15. That does play a huge factor in your um levels not levels but power so that could be where you're going wrong right there if you're not working on her potential because if you look at all of this str intellect agility max hp from just the potentials 180,000 attack damage she's getting 31,000 magic power from just the potential upgrade y'all keep that in mind so that's probably why and if not look at her ruins they're all max level 60 level 7 um, breakthrough so she's already getting 14,000 magic power another 110,000 HP on top of all of that so the potential the potential is probably where you're not leveling it up as much as mine I don't know I'm not saying that is why but it probably is why so work on her potential if you want it to be as strong as mine that's why I strictly focused on the queen of sea first and I will finish her at max potential even though it's not worth it I really need to work on other heroes but I really like queen of sea she's been amazing for me so I'm just gonna max her out first because she helps me everywhere in this game and without her I would not be nowhere near as close as I am on a lot of stages so that's just my opinion Everybody has their own opinion. So, it's either you can follow my upgrading or just do your own thing. I recommend doing your own thing because I don't think I am the best at this game. I just play it to give you all some entertainment. And I've been playing it for so long. So, you know, it's like one of them things. Alright, we need some medium crystals for our freaking cleric. Ah, I do need the seniors too, but we need mediums, man. crazy when you need them you don't get them when we needed those dedicateds i couldn't get them for my life and now not easy to get but not hard that's fine harana shop i did purchase that today 
That's pretty good. Um, skin shop, starship. Hmm. Didn't know he was in there. I need to start focusing on these coins. I just, I don't know. Let's refresh in here. Dragon Sanus. Nice. I haven't seen one of her in a while in here. But it's not who we're looking for. Death Melody. Uh, it's alright. Alright. Let's go in to the spring outing. Did I finish the quest? I did not. I'm glad we checked that. Let's do Midas Touch. That gives us 20. And then that will finish off this for us. Give us another 70. Spring outing. Spring flowers. Let's go ahead and exchange 28 of those bad boys. So that does put us at 70. And it does allow us to get 3 of Holy Priest. This medium um, stones. And that is almost enough to get her max upgraded. That is very, very close. Very happy with that. Let's go ahead and awaken her to number two. Oh, we do need a common for her. So that does set us back. We just need five tulips for that. And then 20. So 25 more tulips. We will have her awaken level three tomorrow. Awesome. Again, very happy with that. So I did do the potential. We do have to do a skin upgrade and promotion. Um... No, we're going to promote the Iron Dragon. Let's go ahead and promote this bad boy. So Iron Dragon promoted. And then a skin upgrade. I still want to work on this Death Mage. Um, especially after yesterday. And um, no, actually I think today the Frost Dragon. One, two, three, four, five. Any upgrades for her is very very helpful is it the frost dragon yeah we're still beating it at around 50 seconds to spare but death mage helps out a lot in here so yeah i want to get her magic power upgraded let's go raid we got upgrading material which is always good prefer that over gold any day of the week and then hero trials we have agility which is also important because we have some agility heroes to upgrade. Arcane Sapper, for instance. We have to consume a decent amount of him. But that's alright. All worth it at the end. That's fine. Now, Medal of Bravery. Let's go ahead and collect all of this. Still got a little bit of stuff to do. Nothing crazy we're going to get today. Alright, that stinks. I was hoping to get some good stuff, so... Um, let me do these two real quick and then I'll know for a fact where you're at and I just seen that I don't have anything on death mage so putting this on her would make a tremendous amount of difference for her I just realized that I need to figure out what we want to put on her because she has nothing not even junk well she has one junk i mean at least she'll get a magic shield if we put that on her i don't even have them can make her go invisible no i need to put <sighs> gains a magic shield after receiving a certain amount of damage I really need to set her up like my Arcane Sapper, I think, and have armor class, maybe? Magic resistance, for sure. I like magic shield. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll put a magic shield on her, and then we'll get four of them, and then have two of something else that would give her something. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Because she needs this bad. Uh, maybe neck the, the event that's coming up. Maybe we'll we'll look into upgrading her on the divine event. Cause that is that. Oh no, the next event's artifact. All right, I might have to do that off camera. Look at everything and just see. We'll figure it out though. But she definitely needs some attributes because she's an arena hero. If I didn't use her in the arena, 
I wouldn't really worry about her too, too much, but I do use her a lot, so those little upgrades would definitely help, especially that magic shield. That would be nice. We'll see, though. One more attack. Hopefully this will put us in the next level. And then should be an easy win. So at least get 30 arena coins. Yeah, that should be a win. This will put us at 30 arena coins. Ouch. Black Tulip. Seeing she was Glory Awakened, so that played a big factor. There we go. Yes, sir. We might even get 150. I'm not 150. I wish we got 150 diamonds. But we might even get 50 diamonds right here. As long as these next two teams are not too crazy. But we did get some Arcane Sapper upgrades today. Now, I mean, that is a decent amount of attack damage for him. So that is very nice. We're going to find out, though. gotta win this and then we gotta win one more and we'll get 50 diamonds beautiful arcane sappers doing good how much how much damage you do not too bad 11 million crazy crazy man crazy i think we got that we should if not then i think something's wrong and then that will be five attacks for us actually so that would be even better as well oh nice phoenix totem beautiful nice five wins 50 diamonds and collect those two so that gives us 110 and that'll be 80 so we'll be at 50 almost 56 we will not get this tomorrow. It'll be the following day. That stinks. Alright, quest. Collect that. And I just thought of this. I don't know why, but let's go collect that. 14 plus 2 mediums. Beautiful there. We need all of that we can get. Let's go help out a guild mate because that will allow us to get 50 guild coins on top of that which we need so beautiful um that actually might wrap up today's video y'all keep it a little bit shorter um it's just been a long day at work, I'm not even going to lie, and I really don't feel like doing the crusade because it's nothing great, and I mean, I'm happy with everything. The main focus of today was upgrading our Arcane Sapper. I didn't expect us to do all of them upgrades today, but hey, I am glad we did, and like I said, it does put us at a little bit less than 25,000 power, I mean, score, um, so we got two days to get there, which is fine. We're probably going to go ahead and do, um, yeah, if it, we'll do physical crit. So we'll like level this one up twice tomorrow and then we'll level this one up one level or maybe even level now because we need to get level 50. That's right. So we'll probably do that until the last day, which is only two days. And then we'll figure out which one we're going to upgrade fully. It'll probably be like this one. And we'll see. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It does help me out tremendously. Um, a little bit shorter today, but that's all right. Tomorrow, I am off of work. So, we'll probably have a little bit longer video. I won't be um, doing a lot off camera. So, peace out. Have a great day. Adios. Take it easy. Peace.